Hello, my name is Horizon. Welcome back to Deus Ex Revision. We are about to head back into UNN, 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 UNATCO headquarters after finishing up with mission two. We're going to find out what went wrong with the mission and we're going to find out what's up next. Well, let's game on. Well, first, I want to go check out what's over here. See if there's anything new. Anything new. Hey, guy. There's nobody there. Oh, but there's rockets on the shelf. I want them. I don't have room for them, but I still want them. Well, let's see if I can pick them up anyway. Maybe they're a different kind. Closed due to maintenance. Come back later. I don't want to. I want to come back now. I want to come back now. All right. I remember a crate back here. And there's another one. With a lovely lockpick. I like lockpicks. And... I have the code for here. Code is 0451. Well, let's check it out. 0451. Yeah, just wing right through me. I don't mind. Ooh, a place to recharge my energy. There should be one inside too, but uh, let's take advantage. I like energy. Bioelectric energy. Done, done. Ammo, no room. Data cube. Genie's bots. Specs and overview. Matsu Gravis R118 Repair Bot. The Matsu Gravis R118 is characteristic of all bots in the MG repair line, an autonomous unit capable of a wide range of repair, maintenance, and construction tasks. By default, the R118 is equipped with a can't read that. Royi Searchlight 3. Hmm. A Croy Searchlight 3. Argon laser attached to the standard MG IRL arm. That's the in real life arm. This, this robot can extend an arm right out back into real life, out of the game. Wow. Chiang Optics and Visual Processing, a self-recharging bioelectric battery, wireless command control, and 16 gigabytes of internal memory for a superior amount of task customization at an affordable price. The bioelectric interface adheres to the same light standard pioneered by MG and adopted by most other companies around the world, allowing all units in the R line to act as mobile bioelectric rechargers if necessary. 16 gigabytes of internal memory. I suspect that was considered insanely huge when this game was made, but not anymore. Now I want the light on. You're still there. And you're nothing new. All right. Well, can I reach this? Yes, I can. Let's hack it! Mm, everything's still off. That's locked again. Let's unlock it and let's open it. Good, good. Goodbye! Can oh, not yet, not yet. Maybe, 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 maybe after I finish down here. What's down here? Only a crowbar? Only a crowbar? I was hoping for an eagle bar. Or a sparrow bar. Maybe an ostrich bar. Just a crow bar. What kind of drinks do crows drink at the bar anyway? I don't know. I've never been to a crow bar. Never. Never been to any kind of animal bar. Okay. There's nothing over here. All right. Well, I think it's time to go inside. Inside. I, seriously? You got some sort of force field around the chopper? I can't get any closer? Oh, my. And that's in the way. Hey guys. Welcome back. Your mission was a success. Just about the only bright side of the operation, unfortunately. Report to Manderley for a briefing. Cool. Wouldn't that be a debriefing? Let's see after after the message. Mess after the message. After the mission. Liberty Island is off limits. But why? Hey, there's a gap in the gate. I'm just gonna go right on through. If you don't mind, right? Yeah. Good. 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 Hoppity up. Hoppity hop. Yeah. Hmm. I can fit, but still no. All right. Well, how come you guys aren't sitting here perched in the gate just like this? You should be. Don't you think you'd look professional perched in the gate like this? Who are you guys? Who are you? I better make my rounds. Well, why are you still standing here then, sir? Seriously, you're going to make your rounds in one place? Gunther's oh. full of it. Earlier tonight, in the statue, I bet you had at least half a dozen takedowns. Sure, sure, at sure, least. sure. Oh, why did this guy cough like he was in a tin can? Good to have you back. Thank you. Nothing else. What's on with these guys? What's going on? Something odd about his biometrics. Who is mine? 
<coughs> they told oh, us to hang tight. Objectives remain, apparently. Uh huh, uh huh. What are you? Mr. Dent. Yeah? The prisoners on level three are a sensitive matter. Leave the interrogations to Mr. Simons. You are authorized to receive your orders from Joseph Manderley, after which you will return to the helipad. Simons. You guys from DC? What agency? Please proceed to Manderley's office. We will expect to see you shortly. What was that? You said I should most definitely go down to the level three to interrogate the prisoners? Okay, well, I, I shall then. I'm not one to disobey orders. Would you guys stop whistling? That's annoying. Stop it. Old. Nothing else, nothing else, nothing else, nothing else. What the guys are saying about Hell's Kitchen. What are they saying about Hell's Kitchen? I wouldn't do that if I was you. Why? Are you afraid of the light? That's weird. Some of these people are androids. Watch the way they move. If it wasn't for the warehouse, I'm sure you would have helped out. With the Some of these people are androids? Of those four up there? Are you sure? Do not question the prisoners yourself. Question the prisoner myself, okay. We will be waiting. Good. I do not understand the reason for your delay. Because I'm talking to you, isn't that obvious? Interesting <laughs> behavior, Mr. Dan. <laughs> yeah, talking to you, that's very interesting, I agree. Do not question the prisoners yourself. You already told me to question the prisoners, I got it. We will be waiting. Good, you'll wait. We will be waiting. Okay, you'll wait. I do not understand the reason for your delay. I'm still talking to you, isn't that obvious? We will be waiting. Good. Interesting behavior, Mr. Dent. Oh my goodness. Did you guys have anything else I to say? fact from when you were at the academy that you can do more than throw gas grenades and use a prod. They're full of it. Yes, I can. But I also care about life. I do, I do. Goodbye. Welcome to UNATCO HQ, United Nations Anti-Terrorist Coalition. Was that anti-terrorist or terrorist? United Nations Terrorist Coalition. We are the terrorists. Yes, we are. I'm not yeah, drinking. He said he's busy, but to wait outside his office. Hmm, you're his secretary now? Okay. Ooh, oh, interesting. All right. Oh, nothing over there. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say about the water. Something about I've already drank too much. I look a little bit too much like a fish already. Not really into that look. Not so much. No, no, no. Let's just go in here. Hey. I better make my rounds. Uh, you're just gonna. Oh, you, you're actually gonna make rounds. Good for you. Good for you. What's over here? A locked door. Do I have a key? That's right. That's right. I picked up an office key. I wonder if it works for every office. You're not even locked. What's in here? What's in here? There's a lamp and a chair. No, no, no. I need the chairs to be on the desks. That's where the chairs are supposed to be. Now, on, on, on the desk. That's right. Lamps on. Because nobody's here. And chair's on the desk. I, I wonder if I could get the chair to go into the la la into the lamp, into the fan. What happens? <laughs> That's what happens. Just get bounced right back down. You need to be on a desk too. You're no exception. There we go. Much better. What's in What's in here? I'm not gonna deal with the plants. At least not yet. Hey guy, what's up? Just filling out a report on the mop-up operation. Oh, how's it going? You're sitting way off to the side to fill out a report? The keyboard's out of arm's reach. How do you do it? Telepathically? I'm not going to kneel down to see your eyes better, because that's supposed to be way too low, and I just don't want to be there. Let's see what happens if I hack your computer while you're in the middle of filling out a report. There's nothing here. What kind of report are you filling out there, sir? It's empty. Oh... I do like lockpicks. I'm gonna throw a box at you. I saw quite a bit of action today. Today's not Boxing Day, but I'm still gonna box you. I don't understand. What are you doing? I'm throwing boxes at you. Couldn't you figure that out? Jeez. Oh my. So what's in here? Oh yes, Paul's office. The only office of all of us that's on this floor. Oh, I had his key too. I'll have to check all the offices to see if I can open them all. That would be nice. Paul? Nobody left you a message before. How about this time? Are you popular now? Paul? Paul? Are you popular? Big bro? Big bro? Uh <laughs> Nobody wants to talk to my big bro. <gasps> oh no. Should I admit he's my bro? I don't know. I don't know. My cat is meowing. I'm so happy about that. Oh, there's more things to read. Woohoo! Stopping terror. Stopping terror. A new perspective on freedom. When one maniac can wipe out a city of 12... 12, 12, 20 million with a microbe developed in his basement, a new approach to law enforcement becomes necessary. Every citizen of the world must be placed under surveillance. 
That means Skycams at every intersection. Computer-mediated analysis of every phone call, email, and snail mail, and a purely electronic economy in which every transaction is recorded and data mined for suspicious activity and even non-suspicious activity just so that we can control everything you do. <gasps> we are close to achieving this goal. Some would say that human liberty has been compromised and how correct they very much are. But the reality is not in the words I'm about to speak, which is that the truth is the opposite. It's just not right. As surveillance expands, people become more and more free from danger and locked into it. Free to walk alone at night, but not allowed to because they're you know, under control. Free to work in a safe place, but once again, they do it under armed guard. And free to buy any legal product or service without the threat of fraud, but no product or service will be legal. They'll all be illegal. One day every man and woman will quietly earn credits but not be allowed to keep them. They all belong to the government. Purchase items for quiet homes on quiet streets, streets which all belong to the government. And yes, you must. It's not optional. You will go to those quiet homes on quiet streets and you'll never make a sound. That is illegal. Have cookouts with neighbors and strangers alike because you have to. And sleep with doors and windows wide open because that's the law. If that isn't the tranquil dream of every illusionary free citizen throughout history, what is? <gasps> this one's by Anna Navarre, an agent at UNETCO. Anna Navarre, oh, you're so misguided. Terrorism, war without fronts. How do we fight an underground threat? One with no defined territory, base, or often known leader? We look to military history. The casebook example of how to manage civil unrest is the Hammett Evaluation System, HES. Developed by the United States military during its occupation of South Vietnam in the 20th century, since population centers in that country contained both communist rebels and loyal citizens, the towns were ranked on a scale from 1 to 5, 5 being the safest. The monthly report of local commanders, useful in Vietnam for maintaining contour maps of ideology concentration, have provided many components of the UNATCO sector field reports. The modern UDC, the modern UDU, UNATCO deployed unit, has been modeled on the CAP, Combined Action Platoon, deployed in Vietnam, a 15-man rifle squad responsible for a single hamlet. CAP-protected villages typically earned a 2.95 HET score compared to a 1.6 average in the same region. CAP units performed in many mission roles, but they primarily worked with indigenous people to strengthen ideological ties. Like CAP units, UNACO teams are primarily concerned with building safe communities. Joseph Manderley, Director, UNACO. Yes, building a safe community, that's exactly the kind of message I, mission I've been sent on so far. Know your enemy, Templars. There is some debate as whether the Templars should be considered a terrorist organization because they do not employ the typical tools of terrorism. But make no mistake. The Templars are just as dangerous as any other group that might use guns and bombs to intimidate the free citizens of a country. Only the Templars wield blackmail and extortion as their weapons. Supposedly, the direct descendant of a so-called secret society with its roots in the medieval crusades. The present-day Templars are mainly concerned with increasing their own bank accounts in elaborately illegal financial manipulations that have left entire markets collapsed in their wakes. The Templars are currently classified as inactive after being successfully diminished by a combined UNATCO Interpol raid on their Paris headquarters in 2021. However, several key Templar figures are still at large and may attempt to reform the organization under a new designation. Know your enemy, X-51. Little is known about X-51, aside from their involvement in all manner of illegal research, much of it prescribed by worldwide concords over the last 50 years. Computer profiling shows a high likelihood that X-51 was responsible for the SoCal disaster that submerged much of Southern California, though the exact nature of the experiment that led to the tragedy is still unknown. 
Little other information is available on the overall objective of X-51, if any exists. X-51 is believed to be led by Gary Savage, a scientist previously employed by the United States government for a variety of black projects until he disappeared under mysterious circumstances several years ago. All agents are advised to be vigilant for any indications as to the whereabouts of Savage or other members of X-51 and report them immediately to their operator or immediate supervisor. Add, add, add to Databomb. Adios. It's time to get some cashola. Let's hack this machine. Oh, 750. Withdraw with pleasure. Woohoo. Okay. Let's go to the break room and see that there's nothing much here, but there's that. Which I've seen in the past. Hey, guy. I heard about the raid. Don't sweat it. I'm sure Paul had his reasons. Yeah, I don't know what Paul did yet. I don't know what the deal is. What did he do? Or not do? Uh, women's bathroom. I'd best stay out. Men's bathroom. I don't really need to go. Let's just turn on the water and leave. And throw some vases at people. Because that's what else are they there for? I don't understand. What are you doing? Throwing a vase at you. What did it seem like? I'm going to play some pinball. It's a noisy pinball. I don't want to play it anymore. I'm going to throw a plant at somebody. All night, huh? Yeah. I'm going to throw a plant at you. Throw a plant at you. Come on. Throw a plant at you. Oh my goodness, it's a heavy plant. Can't throw it very far. Agent Navarro was grinding gears over how you handled Castle Clinton. Not hard to flip her switch, is it? I thought she liked the way I handled Castle Clinton. Hey, what the hell? Just throwing a plant at you, no big deal. Let me turn the water on now. Water, water. Why does he told us to hang tight? I guess most remain, apparently. Oh, more objectives. Hot and cold, hot and cold. Maybe the other way around. I don't know. I'm going to throw a garbage can at you. You think that's funny? Yeah! That's why I did it. Nothing else. I'm out of here. I better make my rounds. Okay, you do that. I'm leaving. Going over here to check these offices. Are they locked? Are they locked? No. And yes. But not anymore. No, no, no. Put it away. 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 Put the, put the chairs on the table. Yeah, all of them. All the chairs on the table. That's where they belong. Chairs do not belong on the floor. That's dirty. Don't put chairs on the dirty floor. Put the box on the chairs. Okay, fine. The boxes can go, go on the floor. Put the boxes in the floor. All right. Is that it? Nothing under the table? Oh. <laughs> nice. I like it. I like the dancing box. No, no, keep dancing. Keep dancing. Dance. Dance for me, baby. Dance. Dance. Dance for me, baby. Dance. Dance. No! I said dance. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Not over. Dance for me, baby. Dance. Dance. Oh, come on. Why are you guys jumping up so fast now? Dance for me, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Have to get closer. A fish box. Bye bye. Anything in here? Anything, anything but a basketball. Ooh, I can throw that at people. Yeah, that bounce is pretty nice. Ooh, tranquilizer darts. Nothing else. Nothing else. Take the ball. I thought the ball went right back to the place it came from. Hey, 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 hey. Catch. Uh, that's against protocol, agent. Then why was it here? It's not mine. I didn't bring it here. Can you tell me that? Huh? I don't understand. What are you doing? Bring a basketball at you. Good grief. You guys don't understand anything. <gasps> My goodness. All right. Uh, yeah, let's go in here first. Open both doors. That way I know I've been here. Check that one in a moment. What we got here? A book? What kind of book? Book. Righteous Angels. Perspective on UNETCO by Wendy White. Chapter 2. The New Seraphim. As the giddiness that greeted the new millennium faded to grim apathy in the face of plague, famine, and the inevitable waves of national convolutions that followed in their wake, the United Nations found itself increasingly outmoded and unable to cope with the worldwide rise in terrorism. Tensions between the affluent, walled away within private enclaves, and those less fortunate escalated rapidly as basic medical care facilities collapsed under the weight of each new outbreak. We are experiencing outbreaks. Coronavirus, anyone? The very pervasiveness of the net fractured communities into smaller and smaller special interest groups. And as local police grew increasingly ineffectual, 
and access to deadlier weaponry more commonplace, conflicts spilled over national borders and into the streets of major urban cities. The United Nations was forced to admit that their own military was both outmoded and unequipped to deal with these threats. So a new organization was required, UNATCO, an army of seraphim, divinely charged to met out impartial justice with burning wings and flaming swords and uh, partiality. Let's not forget that uh, this impartial organization is very partial. All right, what else do we have in here? All right, one pick, one pick. I have 18, that's plenty, let's use it. Let's grab that, whatever that is. I want it, I want it, I really, really want it. Open it up, what is it? It's a modification for recoil. Pick up that recoil. Let's see. Recoil can only go on the handgun. Well, done. Recoil is reduced from 0 0.3 to 0 0.27. A 10% decrease. All right. 10% looks way better than the other numbers. I'll throw this at somebody. Since I have nothing else. There's nobody here. Hey, what happened to the guy that was standing here? Gone. All right, let's get this door. What do we got in here? A crate. That's great. I love crates. Crates are so nice. <sighs> That's nothing. That's nothing. This is my office. J.C. Denton. What's in here for J.C. Denton? Who's J.C. Denton? Never heard of the guy. Ooh, a multi-tool. I'll take it. Binoculars? Don't need it. Anything under your desk, J.C. Denton? No. Well, stand up then, J.C. Denton. There we go. Oh, yes? You're hung up already. All right, checking my email. Hacking into my own account because it's faster than looking at my credentials. Oh, add to data vault, add to data vault. Now let's log out before somebody shoots me for hacking into my own computer, my own account. All right, from Paul Denton to, oh, it's from a bro to me. I don't have much time, so I'm gonna have to cut this short. They're going to tell you a lot of things about what went on today. And it's probably all going to get pinned on me. I've got my reasons, but I can't go into them right now. Not over the net. But you've got to trust me that there are reasons. Maybe I can point you in the right direction. Tap a few computers and see what you can come up with. Try Manderly's computer if you can risk it. Password is Night Killer. You might also check Navarre's, but I don't have her password. Cold woman, be careful around her. And for that matter, everyone else. Paul. Thanks for the advice, Paul. Day race to JC Denton. Congrats on surviving your first mission, Horizon. I know it's all part of the job, but I'm glad to see you back in one piece, more or less. Anyways, if you get this message before I get a chance to see you in person, then get your behind down here so I can patch you up. By the way, I hear a few things from up top and I get the impression that they were definitely taking advantage of this NSF attack to evaluate your performance. So far, everyone seems to be ecstatic. Well, everyone except Gunther. But he's got his own problems. Keep it up. But keep an eye out too. I get the impression sometimes that everyone here has their own agenda. Jamie. I know everybody calls, calls him Jaime. I'm going to call him Jamie. It's spelled Jamie. I'm going to say Jamie. 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 Yes, I do know guys named Jamie. So there. Fine. I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that. I'm leaving. I'm tired of my office. It's boring. Anna Navarre. Your door is open. And there's a crate in your office. I'm gonna break it open for you, okay, Anna? Ah, ammo I have no room for. Anna, you were such a, you were so happy. You just smacked that guy with a, holy cow. That crowbar is both going in and out again. Anna, a little bit of overkill. I mean, he wasn't even alive in the first place. Definitely overkill. I want, I want, but I can't have. That I'm aware of. Do I have a key? Doesn't have the right code. Fine. What's in your computer? Let's hack it up into little tiny pieces. Let's see what you got. Something from Dia Herman. Something from Jay Manderley. Got it, got it. Oh, and a guest account. Nothing. Let's read. First message from Jay Manderley to Anna Navarre. Of primary importance. Mm. Of primary importance in. I'm trying to make his voice. Of primary importance in the upcoming operation is recovering all of the stolen ambrosia. If any fall into terrorist hands, it could be a potential tool for blackmail that would pose a serious security risk. 
Why are they using underscores instead of quotation marks? However, our best intelligence indicates that Juan Lebedev, a known terrorist leader, is behind this galling attack. While the loss of the Ambrugia is a regrettable but salvageable incident, Lebedev poses a continuing threat to Yanatko. He is also a dangerous man, and if the operation should result in his termination rather than capture, there is no doubt the agent responsible would be found to have acted appropriately and with the full force of the law. J.M. Joseph Manderley It's kind of scary. From G. Herman to Anna Navarre I am not sure what I think of the Agent Denton. He is not like his brother, but seems too eager to prove that he may be a better than us. I wonder if he understands what might be at stake here, Gunther. Thank you, Gunther. Always glad to talk to you, Gunther. What you got over here? Oh, you locked it? Do I have the key? I have the key. What was that beepity beep? I don't know what that was. I see that. Credits. I didn't check all oh, everybody else's desk underneath. What you got to say in your email, Gunther? I want to know. You gonna tell me? Well, you will, so thank you very much. I, I really hope I added all the others to the, the data vault. I really can't remember. Uh, yes, I did. I know I did. I know I did because I'm reading them from my account, from my data vault. G. Tremblay to G. Herman. Maintenance man. First the orange soda, and now my ceiling fan. I know you did these things on purpose. I will be on assignment shortly. You may fix it then. Gunter Herman. Agent Herman. We appreciate that all officers in this facility should have functioning ventilation systems and will solve the issue with your office as soon as possible. However, regarding the vending machine in the lounge, your hand may simply have slipped, or perhaps your augmentations are in need of maintenance. In that case, I would suggest inquiring with Dr. Race. Regards, Gordon Tremblay, Unico Facility Services. Okay, let's go this way. Because I've already been behind me. Why would I go to where I'm coming back to you later? No, 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 no. I'm opening this door. Why do I get that tone every time I open a door with my key? There's nothing in here! It makes me angry! I'm gonna throw things around. Oh, let me redecorate. So that I can trip over them later. That's exactly why. I'm gonna throw it over the ledge. I feel better now. I don't wanna look at you. I wanna hack this. So I can shut off all the cameras if they're turned on. Off. Unlocked. Open. Off. Unlocked. Open. Whatever those doors are. Just so I know I've. to know what the feds are doing down in the cell block. Yeah, me too. Just so I know I've been everywhere, I'm gonna open every, every, every door and drink your coffee. Yield four points, so that's great. Some kind of specialist from Washington downstairs. Somebody mm. to interrogate the prisoners. A specialist? From Washington, you say? Mm. I'll hurt you off. You look like a gun, but you're just a camera. Never mind Anna Navarra. She hates everybody. Well, that's what I've been told. Nothing there, nothing there. What about back here? Uh, clearly nothing. But that's not nothing. Yes, it is. It's cigarettes. Cigarettes are very much nothing. I think the suits are putting the squeeze on Manderley about this one. Mm. What exactly are they trying to squeeze out of him? Orange juice? Oh. Bioallergic cell. Thank you very much. Well, let's head on down to level three. The place I've been told I very much must go to. Anything else back here? Besides just that. Oh, well, there is something. A crate? I like crates. Oh, and a lockpick. I like lockpicks. I have 18 lockpicks. I don't know what the maximum is, but I just picked up another pistol. What I really want is a better combat knife. I don't like my combat knife. I'd like to know what the feds are doing down in the cell block. Well, uh, if I find out, if you give me your combat knife, I'll let you know, okay? Fair deal? I'll just trade you, since you still have one. You're gonna give me something, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, you're walking over there. Let's drop something, like my combat knife. Hopefully it's enough. Let's see what happens. Agent Dent, marvelous. In addition to an accuracy weapon modification, I've got a couple of multi-tools. Mr. Carter, can I ask you a question? Certain. I'm getting the impression that UNACO is focused more on military operations than law enforcement. The focus has shifted lately, I agree. The only way Anna would have been satisfied is if I'd executed every terrorist in Castle Clinton. Standing order seems to be shoot to kill. Direct intervention is always part of the game. 
In my day, we were just more civilized about it. Civilized? That's the word. I guess I was expecting a little more class from the world's anti-terrorist organization. We just have to strike a balance. Why don't I throw in an extra clip with those multitudes? I trust you will be able to judge when one or the other is appropriate for achieving mission objectives. I can't carry anything else right now. Hold on. I can't carry anything else right now or at all in the foreseeable future. I am full up on that ammo you just tried to give me. And I don't really want it anymore. I'm not sure how much of, a, of it I'll ever use. But uh, what is this? An accuracy mod. I've been putting it into this thing all along. It's currently at 76% base accuracy. And now it's 80%. What kind of weapon class are you under? Weapons... Ah, oh, pistols! I need my pistol skill for you! Ah, oh, you kidding me? Oh, base accuracy is 80 now. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Grab my knife. Let's go. That's a place I'm not... I'm supposed to go. Not, I'm very much supposed to go. Very much required to go here. I don't know what you're for. Oh, the door. The door is what I can't pick or open. What you got? Oh, darts. Thank you for the darts. Nothing, 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 nothing. Nothing, nothing. Do I have a key for any of these? No, 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 no. Fine. Aw, oh, but another bioelectric cell. I like them. You're the right size for a bioelectric cell. But no. But no, I've been denied. <gasps> I've been denied. I'm gonna throw a crate at somebody. I'm gonna put it on your desk. Manderly says only senior staff members can interview the prisoners. I'm senior. I don't understand. What are you doing? Bring a crate on your desk. It won't stay though. I don't understand. What are you doing? I'm hacking your computer. You're okay with that, right? You are! That's great. You got nothing they there. They won't talk. We've tried everything. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you tried everything. I don't understand. What are you doing? Did you try giving him ice cream? No. Well, then you didn't try everything. Nothing. I got a crate for you. Special delivery. Here you go. I don't think you're supposed to be down here, Agent. Oh, that's okay. Still got a delivery for you. I won't say anything, but I think you should go. Here's a crate for you. Hey, what the hell? I'm delivering a package. Pick it up. It's yours. All right. What's in here? Oh, I have the code for here. Three one one seven three. Let's do it. Three one one seven three. Hey guys. Yeah, you don't care. Camera has been shut off. Uh, let's talk to you first. Telling the truth. I didn't ask anything yet. How about you? I can sum it all up in one word. Self-reliance. That's what we stand for. How about you tell me where that shipment is being taken? UNATCO assumes that people are incapable of protecting themselves, and therefore should submit to surveillance and intimidation by an outside force. We won't do it. Okay. How about you now? If you got interrogated, you wouldn't have any answers either. We both just follow orders. True. The governments of the world believe an average citizen should not face the threat of terrorism alone. We don't need your help. The technology exists today for an individual to protect his property against explosives, firearms, surveillance, intrusion, contamination. 350 million fortresses is not my idea of the land of the free. It's better than one big fortress constructed by a corrupt government against its people. Hmm. Yeah, I agree with you. And you? They already grilled me. What? Like a chicken? Grilled chicken? Mmm, I want a grilled cheese. I'm hungry now. It's simple numbers. Big companies pay like 2% tax. Well, you and me, we pay like 50. It's the tax code that makes sure big bureaucracy gets bigger and people have no power. Let's get back to the subject of the missing vaccine. All taxes are social engineering. That's always been their real purpose. I'm not going to stand here and listen to you badmouth the greatest democracy the world has ever known. What happens is that politicians get money from big companies, so all the social engineering is for making big companies. Like I said, it's simple numbers. Hmm. Anything else? If you got interrogated, you wouldn't have any answers either. We both just follow orders. You already said that. A government shouldn't have to occupy its own country with troops. Yeah, true. Anything else? If there wasn't organized oppression, there wouldn't be organized resistance. And what you call terrorism would not exist. You can lock me up, but you can't lock up the truth. I sure hope so. I want the truth to be free. 
Hey, how are you? Anderley will chew us out if he finds out you were here. Okay, bye bye. You didn't take your package. It's right here. Oh. I want to know what happens. I don't think you're supposed to be down here, Agent. Well, I'm leaving then, okay? Goodbye. Cocky sons of bitches, aren't they? Who, me? Uh, you said aren't they, so I don't think you're talking about me. But I just don't know who exactly you're referring to. Agent? Yes, Agent. Anybody over here? Ah, oh, the bathroom lady that I did not walk in on my second playthrough. Welcome aboard, Agent. I'm Shannon. It's a pleasure to meet you. All oh, that really changes your personality all around. I still don't like being down there, though. You're friends with Jaime, right? You sure did a good job with the casualties tonight. I am friends with Jaime, but I call him Jamie. He must be Spanish or something. But uh, I still like to give him a, a good a good American-Canadian name, yeah. I've heard that Manderley is more than satisfied with your performance so far. Hmm, that's good to know. Thank you very much. No, don't want any of those. Don't want to go upstairs. Oh, good. I just opened the door right through my face. That's exactly the way I wanted to do it. It's so nice that that toilet just vanishes into nothingness. Oh, I opened that one right through my face as well. Yes. Wonderful. 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 Go this way first. Because I want to. Oh, and when I replayed, when, when I played the first time, I hacked this computer, but forgot to check. Let's do it now. There. Let's add that to the I'll read it later. I didn't notice all these other accounts over here, so I didn't check them all. Add everything. I'll sort it out later. But uh, I'll tell you more as soon as I finish getting all these. Change. Change. I already got many of these, but I just want to make sure. Add. I'm going to get out. I'll come back in a few moments. Well, I'm letting that cool down. Um, after g when I when I played through the second time, I, I checked all those emails, and in all those emails, I found a code. I found this code from A. Jacobson to A. Jacobson. It's from himself to himself. It's the locker code two zero zero one, and it takes me right in here two zero zero one. All right. In, 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 in. What have we got? What have we got? There's actually lots of things in this area that I found the second time through that not in the first time through. Nothing. Alright, that's done. That's done. There was not much in there. So let's finish hacking this. So I don't forget. I think it was at G Reed. We've got nothing. Alright. So let's take a quick look at those. And see which ones are repeats. From... Rosie Cross to A. Jacobson. Can I read in the voice of an oracle? The oracle says, We find your question interesting. We have several references to entity token MJ12, but all are ambiguous. Will be necessary to expand cycles to clarify relationships for codification of representative patterns before further recognition can be accomplishment. This will be time consuming but past working relationships have shown a 83.23% favorable return. Work with file SH187 was very instructive. We will contact you again when information has been collated. The Oracle would like to know your favorite color. How interesting. Met Directorate to J Race. Information considering the mechanism to which you refer is available only to those with clearance of Throne 6G or higher. Further discussion of this matter with unauthorized personnel result in disciplinary action. All subsequent questions should be directed to Director Manderley. UNATCO, Office of Medical Directorate. While repairing one of our mech augmented agents, I located a mechanism within the autonomic regulation system that was not present in any of the documentation I had available. I'm concerned that failure of this mechanism could lead to a complete autonomic shutdown of the agent's vital systems with the obvious consequences that would entail. I've attached additional CRI scans of the structure and surrounding... Surrounding? You just cut off there? From WS to J. Manderley. I will be arriving at Liberty later today to survey the situation and assess the viability of the primary subject. Unless there are extenuating circumstances that you've so far failed to present to us, it is our belief that the primary may need to be terminated in favor of the secondary. Continue to profile the secondary's response to authority and mission objectives. If there is any deviation, isolate the subject for debriefing upon my arrival. 
From Anna Devar to Jay Manderley. As ordered. As as ordered. As ordered. As ordered. As ordered. How can we make her voice? As ordered. I have made it a close watch. Ugh. As Ugh. I can't make her voice. As, as ordered, I have maintained a close watch of Agent Denton during our operation in New York. I have found his performance to be adequate to the task, if not without certain occasional reluctance. But it is in my opinion that nano augmentation in no way compensates for experience, and Agent Denton quite obviously has a considerable amount of learning to do before he can be considered a fully qualified agent. Agent Herman concurs with this evaluation. I will file a more detailed report when time allows. Man, my voice is breaking. Oh, it sounds terrible. I guess that's it. We're done. All right. So, there's still a couple more things. Oh, no, no, no. I want to run, not walk. There's still a couple more things that I found on my last playthrough. On my first playthrough, I used a tool to get in there. But on my second playthrough, I found a little data cube right there, which gave me a code. A code. And there it is. Note to self. The code to the server room is 737837. Also, try to remember where you put this note. 737837. 737837. Seven, seven, seven. Yay! It opens. And you can recharge my bioelectric energy. You can recharge my BO. My BO. Am I full of BO now? I, I can repel the enemy with my BO. So the remaining secret-ish thing that I found, the other things were secret-ish. This is actually more secret. You can kind of see it right there. There's a square in, in the floor. Yeah. And it's not the only one. I think the other one's over here. Yeah. There it is. Let's go down. Let's go down. Down. No, no. Not over. Down. Okay. Aw. Oh, scope modification. A scope modification. I'm going to put it on the big gun because I think it might be useful from time to time right now that we got all of that don't bounce just get out that's better I think that's everything in here let's go to the medical base for some much needed healing oh yeah hey guy you want to talk to my friend he's a little down yeah he's sitting he should be down if he wants to be up he should stand I knew what I was getting into when I joined up. Oh, but did he? Better I take a bullet than an innocent civilian. Oh, I like that. Proud of you. I want you first. Yes, I want this. Speed enhancement or run silent? I want the speed enhancement. Done. And I want healing. Yes, healing is good. Done. Hey, J Race. Hi, me Race. Jamie Race. Are you Spanish? Mexican. I don't know. You do kind of look Mexican. Spanish. Looks pretty bad down here. Keeps getting worse, too. It must be raining bullets out there. The NSF aren't kidding around. How you holding up? Fine. I lost one of the privates because a refrigeration unit went down. That's always hard. You've got a lot in your hands. Don't beat yourself up over faulty equipment. Yes, indeed. Anything else? By the way, we aren't in such shambles that we can't spare a few oh, medkits. Check the storage closet. Ooh, medical kits, but I'm full. I can't carry anymore. You certainly made an impression on the troops tonight. I keep thinking there's something over there. I'm going to take a closer look. Oh, it's nothing. It's really nothing. It's really, really, really nothing. I'm going to talk to you on my knees. See how you like it. I took a few hits tonight. I'll try it. The doc had to operate. <gasps> we'll get well soon, soldier. Mm. Yes, sir. Get well. I will. Good, good, good. You look okay now. You operated, but you're already sitting on a chair, not on the table. That's good. Dr. Reyes said they took the bullet out, but I still feel it in my stomach. Oh. Does it it's feel... like a piece of ice. Oh, I thought it was going to be delicious, but ice? That's terrible. They also said I lost my spleen. <laughs> I don't know if I want to talk to you again. Dr. Reyes said they took the bullet out, but I still feel it in my stomach. <laughs> Maybe you're still suffering from anesthesia. That's why it still feels like ice. Anything to be found over here? A book that I've already read. I know because there was no ding, ding sound. I'm, ah, these are the same computer. It gives me the same stuff. Skip it. Nothing hiding behind the plant? No. Just throw it away. Oh, boxes. What are you hiding? Mm, you're hiding oxygen. And you're hiding more oxygen. Well, that was very nice. I like oxygen. It's good for my breathing. 
now that I've unlocked that door, let's break open these two crates and find two med kits that I can't carry because I'm full. I'm glad to be full on med kits. Spy surprising a bit maybe, but there we go. I guess that's it, that's it, that's all, that's all, that's it. There's nothing more. It's time to go, it's time to step on a bot. Let's go, let's go up the stairs and around the corner. Let's go to see Mr. Manderly because he's the Manderly. Let's go see, let's go to see Mr. Manderly because he's the man, don't you see? He's right in here in this office right here with a lady out front and a augment over there. What do you have to say? You'll have to wait a minute. Mr. Manderly is busy. Mm, that's what you have to say. I, I brought a plant for you. You'll have to wait a minute. Mr. Manderly is busy. You already told me that. I have a plant for you. You're going to make a mess. If you want, I'll make a mess for you. Hey, I'm trying to work. Are you really? With your arms crossed? That's how you work? If you say so. I just read a message from you. Just now. Just now. Yes, I did. Here, I brought flowers for you. I refuse to babysit a grown man. Well, don't then. Just take things in your head. I refuse to babysit a grown man. We're going to do it again. I refuse to babysit a grown man. Is that all you have to say? You nothing about holding hands anymore? You got over that one? I was here first. Mr. Manderley is in a meeting, JC. You'll have to wait. I was told to report for a debriefing. A debriefing. Do not worry. You passed every test. You will be a most effective weapon for the Coalition. Yes. Just like this. A little more decorum, please. Oh, okay. Flowers are decor. I refuse to babysit a grown man. What, you don't like this decor? A little more decorum, please. Well, that is my decorum. Oh wait, you said decorum, not decor. A little more decorum, please. Oh, well, here, how about garbage? If I can. That Be didn't... quiet. I am trying to listen. Oh, what are you trying to listen to? Just fire the arrogant son of a bitch. I wasn't exaggerating. He's our best agent. We don't need him. We've got his brother. And more are on the way. He knows nothing. I think he does. You should never have sent him to Hong Kong. Let's be sensible. We have to look at the whole record. Look, I understand. He was your pet project, but it's out of my hands. Now that the shipment's been lost... I know, I know. I will comply with the order. That's all I ask. Carry on. I'm going downstairs to interrogate the prisoners. Oh, you guys are coming here? I cannot wait forever. Okay. He will see you when he's ready. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just gonna stand on the chair because that's a sofa. That's that that seems dignified. That's professional. It gives me a good nice vantage point, but you just walk around the garbage can. Hey, on, agent. Uh, hi, hi, hi. I want to talk. Agent to you. Denton, at your service. Denton. Yes, I hear you're turning out to be quite an asset to the coalition. Doing my best, sir. Forgive me, but I do not believe I know your name. We aren't ready for an introduction yet. Mm. No. It's not time. Just keep your nose to the pavement. You'll be well rewarded. Trust me. My nose is on the pavement. That'd mean I'd been crawling around. You aren't needed, Agent. Uh -huh. Why? Because my nose is on the pavement? Uh, I'm going to follow you. I want to know what We're you're... looking to you to set an example. I'm looking to you to set an example. How do you get past it? Oh, you just walk right around it. Okay, fine. And that too? And you close it. Oh. Nice examples you're setting. And you just pop down the stairs, drop at each one. Okay. What else? I'm learning lots here today. Oh, I do like your coat. I have an important matter to attend to. I do like your coat. I'd like to wear a coat like that, I think. It looks nice to me. I wonder what would happen if I threw something at you. Can I? Can I throw something? told us to hang tight. Okay. Objectives remain, apparently. Okay. Settle down, agent. <laughs> That's it? Watch it. You're not in the academy anymore. Oh, that was okay in the academy? Well, that's what they taught me. You don't know who I am, do you? Not a clue. And you seem okay with this. Settle down, agent. That's it? Nothing else? You don't know who I am, do you? No, I already asked you upstairs, but you wouldn't tell me. Settle down, agent. No, I don't wanna. I'm gonna throw plants. You don't know who I am, do you? You already said that. Settle down, agent. Fine, I'll throw it over your head instead. Watch it. You're not in the academy anymore. Fine. I don't know where my plant went. What? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm getting in your way. No. No. Carry on, agent. Fine. Ah. You didn't mind that interference from me, huh? That was okay? That was okay? You gonna go interrogate them now? With the crate in the way? Mm hmm? Mm hmm? 
And another soldier in the way? Are you gonna just walk right around it or over it? Oh, the soldier got in the way first. I, I want. I have an important matter to attend to. Okay, well, I go ahead. I won't say anything, but I think you should go. I have one question. They already asked. I don't know. One must admire a man who can keep a secret because he has value. What you know more than others makes money and gives you a measure of power. You Walton Simons, you think I could be bribed? Margaret Forsyth, under NSF protection in Queens. Your son Richard, attending Bronx Science. You see, I have a few relevant facts myself. Care to make a trade? You wouldn't dare. I'll give you two seconds to decide. Get out of here, Denton. This is none of your business. Time's up. Where is the NSF taking the Ambrosia? I want a good they look at you. Me already. I don't know. Need I remind you that in the case of a national emergency, FEMA has a list of six million Americans who will be transported to detention centers? Your tabloids call it RX-84. Are you talking to me? Yeah. Including the President, Congress, and the Supreme Court. In my position, I find it very easy to add names to that list. Are you talking to me? Go to hell. You're talking to me? You're not talking to me. The shouldn't yeah. have to occupy its own country with troops. The United States government has had emergency powers since World War II. We've never left a state of war. Speak for yourself. The federal government is just responding to a threat. A government should be about more than self-perpetuation. You will confess, by the way. I don't like to dirty my hands with that sort of thing, but you will confess. Hmm. Certain intellectual properties, aside from the quantities of vaccine, concern me deeply. Has the NSF made any attempt at reverse engineering? Leave me alone. Is it? That's all? If you wanted to save people, you could have unloaded the whole shipment in Manhattan. Why the airlift? You said it yourself. Secrets are power. Mm hmm. Nothing else? All done? All done? We have less civilized ways of making you talk. Watch it. <laughs> I am a patient man. Ask me if I care. But not that patient. <gasps> you saw nothing, didn't report to Manderley. Uh, I'm out of here. I'm tripping over a crate. I'm out of here. You're running pretty fast. Why are you running so fast? I should have held the gate open for you. At least you're friendly to me. You don't think it was me. I think Mr. Simons wants to be alone. Yes, Mr. Simons wants to be alone. He most definitely wanted to be alone. Good to have you back. Ah, what I saw. Let's just get out of here. Go, 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 go. Ah, didn't open that door, didn't I? Go in there. Let me close that. Ah, all right. Let's. All right. All right. All right. All right. Right. Let's just get this breathing over with and get out of here. I am next. Okay, well, you go ahead. I'm gonna go. You're not moving, so. Nothing. Nothing. Turn the lamp on. I want those. No. 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 Liquor. Oh, it's in my inventory. Hello, JC. Come in. Clerical task first. Your op bonus is split between the Castle Clinton and Warehouse objectives. 500 each. You get the full 1,000 plus 200 for how you handle the hostage situation in the Battery Park subway station. Good work across the board. Thank you, sir. Who is that you are meeting with? Politics, bureaucracy, mismanagement. JC, I've got some bad news. The mission failed. I would have taken out that Jojo punk, but he wasn't even in the warehouse. Never mind that. He slipped out before you even got to New York. What about the shipment? I'm just going to say it straight, JC. Your brother screwed up. We got nothing, and he's taking the heat this time. The Coalition is letting him go. What went wrong? We don't know. He hasn't reported back. The rest of the Strike Force says he lost his nerve. 
I think he was trying to avoid casualties. In Hell's Kitchen, instead of clips for the troops, he was issuing tear gas. Whatever the case, now it's your turn. We've got one more chance to retake that shipment. Has it been located? Take the chopper back to the city. We know they plan to put the Ambrosia on a plane, but we don't know which airfield. Mm. Where should I start? If I were the NSF, I'd be moving it through the subways, the abandoned parts of the infrastructure. I'll check out the subways. I have been waiting for 20 minutes. Sorry, Anna. What is it? I would like to be reassigned to Agent Harmon. Why? Is Agent Denton... He completed his objective, but our tactics are incompatible. In other words, he didn't kill everything in sight. He could have made a more thorough search for NSF targets, yes. Hmm. Our pilot jock is waiting for you at the helipad. Okay. Let's not be hasty. He will improve. That's what you said about his brother. Let me say this once. That's a sore spot, and you know it. You should have listened to me. Ah, end of meeting. You have a lot to teach, JC. And that's why you're his partner. Nevertheless, I will submit my concerns in writing to Walton Simons, as I did regarding Paul. If you see your brother, send him my way. He didn't report back. Okay. I'm glad you guys don't mind me you listening have in. You your orders for Mr. Manderley. You do too. Get moving. Ah. Why are you still here? A Denton! Watch it! All this blood has ruined my cr- Alright. I'm gonna put the garbage right beside you. Hey, I'm trying to work. That's where you want the garbage, right? Right beside you? That's where I'd want it. Uh, I wanted to pick it up, not carry it, not drink it. Good luck, JC. Plant beside you. Good luck, JC. And good luck. Thank you. Close in. Hey, I'm trying to work. Okay, I'm helping you out. I'm creating an atmosphere for you. Okay? Doesn't that feel much better than before? It should. Yeah, I'm on your desk. Ah, I don't want to dance. Erg. All right. That's all done. That's done. I know I opened that before. That's done. Let's they get told it. Us to hang tight. Okay. Objectives remain apparently. Okay. Here you go. I don't understand. What are you doing? I'm throwing a basketball. Trying to play. Shoot for some poops. Thought you'd like it. Your chopper's ready, Agent. Oh, my chopper. On the helicopter, Mr. Denton. Simons did not appreciate your interference. How did you know I was here? You started talking before you could even see me. I was, like, back here. You guys, like, share vision? He could see me, but he sent the vision to you, so you knew where I was? Please do not keep us waiting. Um. We are needed inside. Okay. Please do not keep us waiting. We are needed inside. I'm keeping you waiting. Get on the helicopter, Mr. Denton. Simons did not appreciate your interference. Uh, that's too bad. Get on the helicopter, Mr. <laughs> Denton. Simons did not appreciate your interference. Simons is a bad man. You know that, right? It's a living. No, no, no. Being a bad man is not a living. It's just terrible. What about you? Are you a bad man? Good to have you back. I thank you. Appreciate that. Well... Here we are, at the helicopter. This is where I'm supposed to go next up. Um, yeah, let's just stop right here. Let's finish this episode right here, right here. Well, hope you enjoyed our little adventure through HQ. They are now sending us, I really don't know where or exactly what I'm doing, chasing down some ambrosia or something like that. Well, let's come back to it next time. See you soon. Have fun. Game on.